as soon as it says we're live. All right, this says, I think we're up. All right, everybody, hey, welcome. welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on board and joining with us today. I'm David Kinder, your humble dictator in charge here of this Facebook group. I swear I'm a humble dictator. Um, but anyway. It's the best kind, yeah. <laughs> The best kind, yeah. And you know, I, I consult with people before I do something stupid. But anyway, um, I'm really excited to have Jim Ruda here with us today. Jim, uh, obviously, as you can tell, we're both going to be at the professionals forum next week. We're really looking forward to seeing a lot of you at there uh, at that event. Um, I'm getting a lot of messages. We're looking forward to meeting up. Uh, that'll be great. I want pictures with everybody. But in addition, Jim has been making some changes in his main platform of his offering for agents. And this is a timely time to just go ahead and bring that out. And by the way, I've been a participant as an attendee of your program. And you've got some amazing things going on, Jim. So for everybody who doesn't know what you've got going on, let's give a quick uh, description. What, do you, what, what have you created with Solus? All right. So Solus, S-O-L-I-S, -S, the School of Life Insurance selling it's advisor craft solace uh it's a program we put together two years ago now hard to believe it's been two years and what <laughs> i did is this my personal model in this business is to help preserve promote and propel the noble profession of selling life insurance now there's an awful lot of help if you want to be a financial planner a financial advisor a financial consultant or a financial operator of some description also if you want to be an investment advisor god knows any version thereof chartered perhaps or otherwise there's lots mm -hmm. of help there but to me the business that i joined in 1977 so 1000 years ago as my daughter will say before the war dad it was very impressive i, I think she meant vietnam uh but there was actually <laughs> after anyhow the point i'm making is simply this that we are trying to record and not just record, but get the best thinking out of the best advisors, life insurance advisors in the entire world onto a two hour conversation with me. And I've been very blessed, David. You know, you and I have talked about this. Uh, I, since 1977, I have been at this. Uh, and I've been working hard and I've been coaching some of the best people in the world, people like Van Miller, who has been on programs with you in the past, and he will be also with us. Thank goodness uh, at the professionals forum in Nashville next week on the starting on the 28th. So I wanted to record them, but not just get them to do a talking head thing and, you know, do their standard routine, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, that sort of thing. I wanted to go in and get the detail, get the depth of who they are and what they do and wh why they were so successful or why they are so successful. And honestly, I got to say, David, I've been very blessed. Uh, I, I've made a lot of friends in this from speaking on the main platform, you know, going back in, you know, in the 2000s and, and then learning and meeting all these folks. And I have been blessed. People like Tony Gordon was just on last week. Tony Gordon from Bristol, England. You know, Saul Hicks will be on next next month in on January. I don't want to say the 12th, but I could be wrong. Uh, Van Miller has been there. George Sigurdsson, Bruce Etherington, Wendy Feldman, Bupinder and M. Uh, uh, you know, Mark Halpern, one of Canada's awesome advisors. Lawrence Geller, who nobody knows, but is unbelievably successful. Uh, Richard Wildman in the marketing angle of this. Dr. Sanjay Talani. Bill Cates, the Fertile coach, your your our, our pal Tom Love, uh, yep. Gail Goodman, the the, the phone teacher, uh, Sandro Forte, uh, Wayne Cotton, and and there's more coming every single month. So I wanted to get their information, but not just you know tell give me your standard stuff. I wanted to go deep, and I wanted it to be recorded. And so we have video now, forty eight hours of video. Yeah of the, some of the best people in the world giving their best information. Uh, and we also have it all AI transcribed. So you can, if you hear a script, if you, you say, there's a great line. Uh, I never thought of that approach. Or, there's a note I should write. Well, you can really pull it off that word doc that comes to you as part of, you know, in the Solus portal, we have all of that for you. So we value this. It's something in the order of $6,000. And by the way, I also include, and you've been part of this too, even last Friday, we had our, mm -hmm. uh, we have a two hour live group coaching session where you can bring your questions, ask your questions. It's like a, it's like a 
It's like an old, old time religion meeting house kind of thing is what it turns out to be. We have a fabulous time. And we're trying to do this to preserve, promote, and propel the noble profession of selling life insurance. Long answer, short question. Perfect. But that, that, let's dissect a little bit of that because sometimes you know, I'll get comments like even for the professionals forum, they'll say, well, I've heard 70%, 80% of what these guys talk about. But the key difference is that little bit. And sometimes all you need is that, that little thing. So I'll give two examples of recent uh, ones that I've learned from your program. So you had Van Miller. Obviously, I've heard Van a lot of times, mainly for their recording. I've seen him twice in person. But when he had him this, this last time, he talked about how he set goals. He never talked about that before. And the way he does it, I'm like, that's a different way to go. And I really liked it. Now, in case anybody's curious, I'll just share a little bit. He, he talks about presenting enough face amount each week or enough premium amount each week. You can adjust it however you're going to do it. But that's how he sets his weekly goals. And he's not going to be done until he's presented X number of dollars of yep. face amount or premium. I'm like, wow, that's a way to keep yourself going. The other one was with someone I hadn't heard of before, but Mark, um, you obviously know her name. Um, Mark Manius. Mark Manius. Yeah. Mark Manius. And so uh, that was an interesting one because she focuses on living benefits, which I don't exactly focus on. I don't focus on the fact you're going to get sick or die. I want to help you enjoy your money. But when she talked about speaking things in kind of in a hokey way, and I'm just, but the fact that being hokey is professional because your your job is to communicate, make sure you get their attention. And I shared with you at that coaching call afterwards that, you know, I heard of being hokey. It was so foreign to me. I didn't get it. And sometimes you have to hear it from somebody else and realize that's the way you got to do it. Um, and so these sessions help to just make things click for me uh, just yeah. a little bit more. You know, you know, you, you say something very interesting here, uh, David, and, and and very astute observation, because it only takes one little thing. And I'll give you an example. One of the people on this program uh, is is uh, is was Lawrence is Lawrence Gill. Lawrence has been around for as, as long as I have, and then some. Um, but in he is one of the most successful living benefits advisors in the entire world. Works across Europe, across Canada, primarily with law firms. So he's extraordinary. And one day, this goes back maybe 10 years, I I'm, I'm doing a program for somebody somewhere, I forget. Anyway, he's sitting there. Now, I'm going, what's he doing here? Why would he be here? You know, to your point, I've heard all this. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, why would you show up? Oh, I know this. I've heard that. I've been there, been there, done that. And I, and I asked him at the break, I said, Lawrence, why would you be here? Why would you, why would you take the time? He says, you know, Jimmy, once in a while, not always, but once in a while, you have a good idea. And he said something that I'll never forget. And after I got past the hurt of that comment, but he Fair said, to me, he said, uh, he said, Jim, here's the point. You know what? If I know, I know you've got good ideas. And I, if I can hear one idea, just one that can increase my income, which is into, I know into eight figures. And when I say eight figures, I mean the left-hand side of the decimal point. Right. He says, he says, if I can hear one idea that can increase my income by 10%, you have some idea what that means for me. Just one at 10%. And here's something else he said. He says, and it's 10% forever. And I'm going, whoa, wait a minute. This is why the top advisors show up at the professionals forum, at the million dollar round table, at the Canada Sales Congress, and why they, I've got MDR, I've got top of table producers in solace. You say, well, what could you tell me? I mean, you know, what's Bruce Etherington, the, you know, the 80 year old going to tell me? All he has to do is remind you of one idea that brings back that 10 points and you're killing it and everything changes. You know, as Thomas Carlyle said many years ago, that we need reminding as often as we need educating. And this solace will be a constant reminder of what the best of the best say all the time. And you don't have to be Sigurdsson, Etherington. Uh, you don't have to be Sandro Forte or Mark Helper and another all-star. Uh, you don't have to be, uh, you know, you know, Tom Love. You don't have... But if you can learn one thing that can jack up your income, and from the from the professionals forum, for example, what if you can learn two or three or five things 
What if you could pick up one idea every month from this? And by the way, this is on any device, anywhere. It's on a portal. You don't have to save it up. It's just sitting there for as long as I'm around. And then some, you'll have access. Does that answer your question? That, that's pretty darn good, Jim. And we'll have to figure out a succession plan for you if needed. I think uh, <laughs> I might have to raise my hand and help you with that. But in addition to that, um, but... There's two parts. First, Jimmy asked, hokey, what is that? And hokey means that you're having a play on words. You're kind of being exaggerating, but not quite. So I'm going to give an example that this isn't Mark. This is Gene Mon. Years ago, I had lunch with him. He's a past president of the MDRT. Yep, yep. And uh, we're having lunch, and I'm just getting started in that particular uh, insurance agency. And he's giving me an example of how he would sell disability insurance. So he takes his business card, turns it over, and says, would you write down the names of three people that will help you pay your bills if you get sick or hurt and you can't work for an extended period of time? Everybody can usually write down one name. You usually struggle on the second, but you can almost never get to the third. And once you let them struggle, you have to let them struggle on that. And then, okay, you can't come up with the third name? Okay, I got an idea. I got a guy. And he turned the card over. It's a little bit hokey. To me at the time, I was like, you really do this? But then I, if, for me, if I preface it by saying, look, this could be a little hokey, but would you play with me a little bit? That's what Van says. Would you play with me a little bit? Let me have a little fun with you. And it's a way to bring about the most effective communication, but being lighthearted about it. Yeah, so you get, you're right, David. It's, you see, when you know your stuff well enough, then you can afford to do things like this. You can afford to, to work with people. Look, we are professional communicators in this business. That's our number one job. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be a great life insurer, and all of those people are, all of them. I mean, God, Saul Hicks will come on. So if Saul doesn't sing this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'll eat my hat because he always does. And I always love it. And I always know what's coming. But I always feel better after he does it. And that's the thing. And hokey is kind of like people will say, well, sending birthday cards is hokey. I mean, sending birthday cards is hokey until you get to be my age and you never get one. And you go, wouldn't that be nice? See, my mom's gone. My mom died. God rest her. My dad's mm -hmm. gone. My, my in-laws are gone. Everybody's gone. So you know what? There's nobody to send me a card. My wife says, I love you and, say, and says, I'll give you a hug and that'll be the end of it. And I, maybe I get a card from one of my kids, maybe. But you know what? I still get letter, the odd card from my clients. And I go, oh, that's hokey. Oh, isn't that nice? Don't you love yeah. that? And I'm telling you, the stuff where you can warm the cockles of somebody's heart, whatever that means. But if you can make somebody feel a little bit, oh, that's cute. You know what? You never lose. And by the way, take sending something to your prospects kids that we you know that was appropriate or, or here take your kids to a hockey game to a basketball game to a ball game whatever it is well that's you know hokey no it's not it's considerate it's thoughtful it's generous you know what it's high etiquette and that's something that really has helped a ton thank you notes are hokey yes. i just wrote a thank you note just now to Tony Gordon. I told, I thanked him. I phoned him three or four times since then. I'm going to send him a note. You know why? I sent, a, I sent a note to Van Miller one day, about five years ago. And you know what the weirdest thing? And I said something, I forget what, I don't even remember what I said. He says, Jim, it's all, it's above my desk. I see it every day. You know what? I love it. You know why? Because it came on a day when I wasn't feeling like I was on the top of the world and your note made me feel different. I think that's something, you know, David, we have to remember people need that good feeling they get from the little things we can do. I've got notes right here that people have sent me over the past couple of years. And I'm like, sure. you know what? I needed that too. And yeah, so, yeah, to. it might feel hokey until we change our own perception of it. And so I mean, I'm kind of hamper, uh, hampering on that, but it's just, it's something that really stuck out to me. Now, I wanted to share something, something I shared in your group coaching last week, because I, I'm kind of biased towards it, but let me share it anyway. So I'm going to share my screen because I see this as an example of understanding the patterns for success. So I asked, how many circles do you see? 
Now, I don't know how many participants we have on here, but I'm going to give you a moment. Take a look at that diagram there. How many circles do you see? Obviously, there's one there in the middle. And I'm going to give you a clue here. There's 22 circles. Can you find them? So five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, supposed to hit the button, supposed to go. There it is. There are the circles. Do you see the shading in between the, the squares? And that what's interesting is that in this, this goes two ways. The first way is for us to see where's the patterns of success that we can glean from every single one that you've interviewed, that I've also talked to. This all came in perfect clarity to me when I was talking to Sanjay Tolani, who you also had on just a couple of yep. months ago. Yeah. And, but I had a one-on-one -on -one time with him about 18 months ago. And after about an hour of talking to him, I'm realizing he does the same thing as everybody else, which means everybody else is doing the same thing. They're just doing it their own way, their own message, their own personality, their own market. It's all consistent. They just make it their own, which is yeah. amazing. But being able to source the pattern. Being able to find it, that's what you come in, Jim, because you've got all the different people, and all they have to do is figure out what are they missing as they're listening. They might not even know they're missing it until they hear it. And they realize, yeah. oh, that's it. That was the missing link. Yeah, and, and David, and David, that's my job. My job is to, you know, you, you've you heard me many times, stop them. Wait a minute, did you just say this? And they go, yep. oh, yeah. So write that down. That's amazing. That's a great thing. And here's the funny thing. When you turn that on, yep. you said that you were going to show that. I, I I was I was I was wondering if I would remember we because the the point I think that you're going to make and I'll screw up for you now but is this is that once you see the pattern, it never goes away, and so while I had to right. look the first time, mm -hmm. when you turn that on, I go boom. There's all the circles. Oh my gosh, I see every one of them. I couldn't not see it. So to the question earlier on about well. Oh, Gee, I've seen these people. I've done, look, by the way, this is, this is silly because the best people show up. I've said this before, show up in the room. The best people go to the meetings. The best people, why? They want to continually learn. If not only, think about this, and, and God rest them, but Ben Feldman's been gone for since 1982, I think. Like a very long time. Oh, uh, 91. He, he died in 91, so, the same year that uh, John Savage passed away. Interesting year. There, 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 there you go. There you go. So, that's right. I think he was... 91 or 93, one of them. Yeah. I'm going to start guessing age now, and I'll, and I'll screw it up. But here's the point. <laughs> he used to he used to come to meetings, and he would he would have his head down the entire time, and people would thought he was sleeping. But he had his head down. He was sort of, they were sort of jotting something down. They thought he was just doodling. And he was asked once, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm listening carefully, and I'm thinking about people who apply to certain thoughts. So as he thinks, as he hears an idea, he writes down the name of a prospect or a client to whom that would apply. So he came away from every meeting with 50 prospects. Now, how many advisors write like that? How many advisors think like that? That's what we're talking about. You can learn this from this. And when you hear different stories about how people operate, Wendy Feldman, his granddaughter, was at Solus. Whole different person, altogether different. Yeah. Also awesome. Part of the Feldman Agency uh, in, in, uh, in Arizona uh, and, and Ohio, two spots. But, but again, that's, the, the, that's what can be so valuable. And I think the other thing here is, you know, I also include in Solus, but we've got about 150 special reports that go on for a 10, 12 pages. I'll give you an example. I, I, I pulled one off here. The last one, which is again, they all they're all posted to the um, uh, to the portal, so you can pull them off anytime. You don't have to lose it or forget it or anything else. You can pull. You it have off. to show me because I couldn't access. I looked for those, so maybe well, I, you need well, to flip well, a switch for well, me. <laughs> I, I, well, I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll show you. We, and by the way. Uh, the, the, we have a complete handout now, or not handout, but Andre, my, my uh, director of operations, uh, in, in, he's in, in Europe, in fact, is how we operate, uh, but he's in Europe, and, and he will provide that information to you how to get it. But here's something here called, um, which uh, this is the, the truth about converting term insurance. 
And I'd heard something, and I, I've done 169 of these. I just don't know how many are on the website, but if the, the, uh, on the portal, but let's just say there's 150 anyway. Okay. But I have 150 ways of making more money in the life insurance business. 150 different ways. Uh, how to prospect more, um, uh, how, how, to, how to do policy reviews, uh, uh, how to convert term insurance. And why did I do this? I did this because I heard someone talk about doing policy reviews. I'm, I'm sorry, about term conversions. I thought, you have got to be kidding me. Who taught you that? I kind of guessed it myself. I said, well, how are you doing? Not well. I said, well, there's a reason. So here is a way you can learn all about policy reviews, and you, or rather, gee whiz, about uh, term conversions. Explain well, they go hand in hand. That. We know that. Or at least well, they're supposed yeah, to go well, hand in hand. They do, because I'm talking about converting the term. I'm talking about how you do it, I'm how to talk about it, how to talk about cash value, life insurance, all those things in here, how to change. By the way, it says stop converting term insurance policies because you're not converting the policy. What you're really converting is the premium. You're converting the premium from an expense to a deposit to a foundational asset. Because if you do it right, by the way, keep this in mind, cash value life insurance when used as intended, here's scripting for you, cash value life insurance when used as intended returns every dollar you ever put into it. And then some means it's no longer an expense, right? How is it an expense if if all I'm doing is taking money out of this pocket and putting it in this pocket, and it's still my jeans. How is it an expense if I put it in the left side of my purse or the right side of my purse, but it's still my purse? How is that? How is that spending money? It's not. And in the United States, you have even, even better benefits. And I talk about American stuff because I deal with a lot of Americans. But you've yep. got the benefit of dealing with Things that like we don't play up here. Max, for example, modified endowment contracts. We don't even have that option up here mm -hmm. for the most part. They're just really not a play at all, and even though there are obviously restrictions, limitations, and compliance, and I get all that. But yeah. see if you understand the game, you'll be better at it. And that's the idea yes. behind Solus. I want you to understand the, the game better. People say to me, Jim, you seem to know so much. How... I said, first of all, I've done 2,000 things the wrong way 10 times first. So that's how I learned, one. And two, I've met with these people for 47 years. And similar to you in lots of ways, I've written it all down. I've got it someplace. Or I just remembered it. I got a massive melon, and it seems to fit in there. Yeah, it's like you were talking about the way that po the policies work. And you're you're talking about that it's becoming an asset and a foundational asset for the rest of your life. And what came to my mind was something I heard 15 years ago, which is, and we'll pay you to keep it. You know, I mean, look, at a <laughs> same kind point, of thing, yeah, same principle. At a certain point, you know, if I'm putting in, and I, I, I have my million dollars, but I mean, if I put in a million dollars into a premium and the, the cash value goes up by a million and change, what is this? This is like, you say, well, that's just forced savings, Jim. I said, okay, but let's get this straight. First of all, how much savings do you have unforced? Um, 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 well, not a lot. Yeah. I see, I got that. <laughs> see, I get that. So, and by the way, a savings a bad thing? Uh, no. Well, that's kind of the point. The point is everybody needs, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody needs this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're catching your breath. I'm going to expound on that because John Savage used to say that. He talked about the, the three buckets. He said, well, what bucket one was investments, the bucket two was bank savings, which he didn't call savings. He called it a deferred spending account. He said, how many guys are married? This is your wife's account. And then the third one was the tin can. And he said, you have open accessibility to these other two. But the third one, once you put it in, it goes into a vice. You can't touch it for a minimum of five years. Where at the end of five years will you have the most money? The tin can. The tin can has no yeah. rate of return, but you'll have more money because you can't get at it. Without so. question. And it's, it's like he used to talk about you, Evie. I've heard that story from John, but a floor sake. Put the money in like you used to get at the, you know, 7 Eleven. Put the money in, you can't get it out. Uh, that, that's the that's the whole that's the whole concept. And a lot of this stuff. My buddy Guy Baker, who lives someplace in southern uh, in Orange County, someplace, 
Yep. Another example of a guy who's, that's just, it's part of the game. And by the way, think about this. And we talk about this in lots of ways, but think about this. Who buys, and I don't know why we're talking about cash value insurance either, but who buys large million dollar cash value life insurance premiums? Who buys that? Silly poor people? No. <laughs> the richest people in the world with access to the best estate planning, legal, accounting, and insurance advice possible. That's who still buys it. So what we're trying to do is in Solus is to give advisors as much perspective on the business, as many of the one-liners as we can possibly pull out, as much of the depth of understanding of the product so that you can be that much better. So whether you're just adding life insurance to your mix, which some people are, whether it's right. something you want to do as a specialty, which I think is the way to do this, but I'm not in charge of everything. So it turns out I can't get that my way <laughs> or whatever it is, you're going to find a way to do more of this. And you include the transcript, those special reports that and I even throw in two one hour sessions with me coaching. And I am, as Van Miller will tell you, I'm Van Miller's coach. And he just sent out a big release across across the United States on the weekend. Uh, and he said it right there. You can read it if you don't. I, I've got it right in front of me. So I've asked my friend and coach, Jim Ruda, if it would be possible to make my training, make the, make the training more accessible. And that's what we did, David. The reason this is here is because this had been 197, and we were doing fine with that very much. But I thought, no, I want more. I don't want price to be an issue, period. Say, so, well, I'm not. Now, the prices are all in Canadian dollars. So for Americans, you look at it and go, what is that? That's like, well, we're a third world country and it's cheaper. It's the way it works here. So, but no, so so when I say $77 a month, it's really like $60 a month US or $770 a year annual subscription. We're getting more of those. It's like $600. And when you sign up, you get everything we've done. Not just you'll pick up Saul Hicks in March or you'll just pick up Tony Gordon in February. No. You get everybody going back to day one, and you always will. And then every month you can come in and you can talk to me. We can you can we can talk. We have a great time, as you know, in our coaching yep. sessions. It's like a clubhouse. It's just fun stuff. And if I don't have the answer, I can get an answer in pretty short order. About and I'm talking about practical stuff. How to sell yeah. more? How to make more appointments? How to ask the right questions? How to how to get more stuff done, how to manage your practice, how to do those things. And I think that's what we need. That's what I used to do. I used to run, think about this. I used to run an agency in, in downtown Toronto on Bay Street, like Wall Street in New York is Bay Street in Toronto. Mm -hmm. I had 250 agents, 15 managers, 50 staff. I had a big operation, but I'd still do this every si I would do it twice a week on Mondays for the rookies, on Fridays for everybody. Still mm. sit down. And, and we needed that. We still need yes. that. But we don't get it. IMOs don't do it. BGAs don't do it. MGAs up here don't. They just, it's a lot of, you know, there's an old story that says when all is said and done, there's a lot more said it's than done. Than done. And man, is that true. I just didn't want that. So we cut the price. I slashed the price for people who were paying me 200. I said, no, thank you. Give me 77 instead. I had people calling and say, Something happened to my bill. Did you guys screw up or what happened? I said, no, I cut it. I took two thirds of it off. I'm going to keep a third. And I want to have as many people as possible do this. I want to be able to help as many as we can. It would be wonderful. That I, I, Jim, we have to have three coaching sessions. Fine. I'm good with that. That'd be this. great. Because, you know, especially if, if we get some more people involved, imagine the group coaching session, because everybody has a chance to ask different questions. And, of course, I'm contributing half the stuff that's in my head whenever we're doing this stuff. And and it's going back and we forth, all, from, you know, one yeah. end to the other. And, and But yeah. we all benefit from someone asking the question, because then it triggers something else or triggers something else. And then we're all getting better off because of the total group interaction, which adds a whole other dimension to it, which is what I look forward to. Yeah, um, it, it, it's it's a gas. It is a lot of fun, um, and it, and and more than that, it's something. It's something where if look, 
you, you're let's just say you're in the life insurance business, but if you want the life insurance business to be in you, you have to immerse yourself in it. And it's yeah. not just enough to know the stuff. You have to be able to take it to the street and convert all that into business because that's all, that's all that matters. You know, uh, and I, as an old speaking saying that I, I always love and it applies in this business too. You know, you have to know your stuff. You have to know who you're stuffing and then you can stuff them. And I'm trying to give you enough about you got to know your stuff. And I'm, I'm talking about, and it's like to get Sanjay Talani's deepest thinking on this, Van Miller's thinking on this, you know, uh, these, these, these tremendous, Simga Kerr here in Canada, you know, she qualified for top of the table by the 15th of January. Last year, she was five times top of the table. She's been, she's been in the country for 16 years. And you go, well, wait a minute. Well, she happens to be a client of mine, but, and God bless her, she's an amazing worker, but she's got a way to do it. And she's coming up in April. And it's just, you gotta, it'll blow your mind. You won't believe what you hear. I'm not going to tell you, but you won't believe it. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't believe it. And it's just <laughs> too obvious. It's too freaking obvious. And she took something I said one day and something that Van said, because by the way, here she was, you know, top of the table anyway. And we, I met her the first, well, I met her. She came right away to a Van Miller session that I had uh, mm. in, in Toronto in 2020. In the, in January of 2020, there there she was learning. Right? This is this is not a little program. It's a small price, massive value. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. ranting. I apologize. But there's an awful lot there. This the... It, you know, the um, you can go to the website um, and just go to advisorcraft.com slash S-O-L-I-S, School of Life mm -hmm. Insurance Selling, and you can find it there. Uh, and uh, there, there's the the whole, the pricing is there, the information, there's a lot of other stuff there as well. Uh, and it, it's it's a pretty, it's it's a fun place to be, I think. And and this it, is- It really is. And, 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 but I've got my affiliate link, so I'd like to get credit for anybody that's listening. So I, I'd say, like to show off a little apologies. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Please do that. But post that. That's that's what we want. We want that affiliate link. Please go to David's David's link. I, I want we want to be able to give David credit for that for the stuff that he can uh, push our our way. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't go. Just ignore what I said. That's just the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> that's not uh, a problem. Seriously. <laughs> uh, no. 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 But that. But that's that's just fair. I, I, my, my apologies. Uh, but that is uh, absolutely right. And, but uh, it's also a, a key that uh, one of the things that I see, and this is one of the way that I think in my 16 circles or 22 circles, is that everything builds upon itself. And it's something that I'm going to talk about the forum, because once you learn how to communicate one concept, you can learn how to pivot into other concepts for other prospects that have other problems that in other ways to solve, even though you're still talking about the same problem. So yeah. there's so don't think that well if you're studying at one level that this can't help you to elevate and go into other levels you have to learn about what that can look like but the communication styles is all the same yeah. you know you just have to know how you're solving which problem and when so yeah, the, yeah the, you like talk about the million dollar are, annual yeah. premiums those are a whole different level but the same principles apply yeah you can work backwards from a million of annual premium to a, to a, to 10,000 of annual premium absolutely you yeah. can uh, it's 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 one of those things where when you understand and by the way something you're going to see in this is that these people tend to be they tend to be very good at something they're experts at something they have become specialists uh, my, my buddy mark Halperin, who is a is into, into the philanthropy business uh, and does extraordinarily well uh, and, and he does that because that's his thing it by the way it makes it easier to advertise to market to, to brand everything fits around that and you're going to see that and what you're going to learn is oh my god you could be mark manius who is a just very emotive expressive person and tremendous i've been a fan of mine for 35 40 years now amazing uh and and then you get quieter people in softer book but you know there is a passion and they've got an inner purpose that is expressed as passion that that's why people buy from them it's not good enough just to learn Van Miller's words 
or to learn Tom Love's words, or to learn Van, or or to learn Sanjay Talani's words, or 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 Saul Hicks, or pick an, or, or Tony Gore. It's not good enough. You need to experience or feel what they who they are. But what that tells you is this, David. If you that means you can be who you are. Anybody listening or watching today, you can be who you are, but just be the best version of you. And this solace is a program that gives you so much depth, male, female, every, all kinds of backgrounds. You know, Bupinder and Ant, unbelievable guy, unbelievable yes. guy. Sandro Forte, another extraordinary professional. And all different, but the same. And again, to your point, David, you start seeing those circles. You go, oh, my God. The There's a lot of same here. And I could be like this, too. And that's what I want. I want you to watch Solace and go, oh, my gosh, I can do this. Because that would be, that's all I want out of this. You know, I, I don't. I don't need to work. I love this. My wife says, I said, I tell her, I said, Rhonda, I'm going to work. She said, don't lie to me. You're not going to work. <laughs> you love that place. You love that place. <laughs> and I do. And I do. And I tell it's you what, so true. I, I have the highest respect for those people on the street doing the job like I used to do. I was an agent for 23 years. I, I'm familiar with that. You know what? I I I cried over my phone. I I had people lock the door when I showed up. All the lights go off in the house. I, I've had all of that. I had all of that happen. Whatever happened to you, I've been there, done that. Yep. And you can change the world. And we do one prospect, one client at a time. All I want you to do is be amazing. And I hope and I pray and I do that. And I, it's oddly enough, David, I pray for my clients and everybody out there every single day, because I wish and hope that you can take what's here and make your world a better place too, and the world of the clients that you work with. David? No, that that's a perfect way to end this call. Uh, thank you so much, Jim. And of course, everybody check out my affiliate link. I appreciate getting a little bit of credit. I'd like to see you know how effective I can Please be to do. get the word out. But this is great stuff. And as you can tell, I'm passionate about it. You can tell that I can see a pattern behind it, literally. Um, and I want other people to start seeing that as well. So, Jim, thank you so much. Um, obviously, I'm going to see you next week. But so I'm going to hit. Forward, I'm going to hit end live video now. <laughs> and there you go. That end. <laughs>